Hello and welcome to webinformant.tv. I'm David Strom, your host and reviewer. Today we look at TriCypher's MyOneLogin.com, a new service that combines two-factor authentication with single sign-on for a variety of internal and web-based applications. We're looking at the main admin homepage for my company and you can see a list of my applications and various management controls down the left-hand menu. Why do you need this service? We all have too many passwords to remember for our various sign-ons, both to external websites and our internal corporate applications, such as VPNs and email. We can do one of several things. Write down our passwords on a cheat sheet that hopefully no one else will find. Try to use the same password on multiple sites, or use an authentication aggregation service that stores your credentials. Until now, none of these methods was very secure for reasons that are shown in this table. My One Login aggregates your login credentials, but unlike other existing services, it works more securely. Once I set up my portal with my applications, I just click on the icon and I get authenticated to the service and can start doing work, as you can see here. I can do this for all employees in my company and save tons of time in resetting forgotten passwords and save lots of money in not having to deploy other token-based solutions such as the Secure ID token you see here. Everything is stored securely online on TriCypher's servers and I can get access to my apps from wherever I am and with whatever PC I'm using. Setting up a new application on your portal is simple. You go to Add Applications, click on the icon of interest, or use the search box to find the one you want, such as Hertz website. Now you go back to View Applications, click on the Edit text underneath the app, and enter your credentials for that app. Once you confirm your choices, you click on the button and you're brought directly there. I mentioned earlier that My One Login is better than its competitors. Let's look at what happens when you use OpenID. While it's admirable that an open source single sign-on solution exists, it's not a good idea to use this service for protecting your identity. Once a hacker gains your authentication credentials at any one open ID site, they can log in anywhere else as you. Here's how that could work. Say a phisher sends you an email with a link to their phish MySpace page, as we see here. We click on the link and we think we're logging into a legitimate MySpace website, but we're just sending our credentials to the hacker, as we see in this copy of the email. Once the hacker has gained this information, they can log in as me on MySpace and proceed to use my OpenID URL to gain access to whatever other site that supports it, such as Yahoo Mail. How does one, my one login avoid this issue? Simple. They use two-factor authentication, something that everyone has, like a set of knowledge questions and answers, or their cell phone. Say someone has figured out your username and password and is trying to connect to your one, My One Login portal from their PC. They get the following screen, and depending on how you set up your My One Login user with preferences that are shown here, the thief will either get a set of questions to answer that only you know the answers to, or My One Login will call your cell phone with a one-time password that you're asked to enter, and hopefully the thief won't also have your phone. In the Preferences screen shown, there are other controls that allow you to automatically log out users after a specified time interval and allow users to export their credentials for all of their apps, and even customize the Get Support link at the bottom of each screen. What are things I liked about the product? There are several hundred preset applications make it easy to create a pretty robust portal quickly, and the way you can bulk upload user data via a CSV is also nice. You can upload a graphic image to brand your portal, and as I did at the top of the screen here. I also like that you can mix web and internal apps, such as here we're logging into our SSL VPN without needing a password. This means that an enterprise doesn't have to give out credentials for its supported applications, and when a user leaves the company, they don't take their apps with them. What are things I didn't like? I wish there was support, better support for Safari in addition to IE and Firefox. The reporting module is a bit dense and verbose and could use a bit more work. You go to Reports, Event Log Report, and enter whatever filters to narrow your focus, and you can also print this information or export it to a CSV or XML file. Thanks for watching webinformant.tv. This is David Strom. Feel free to send me feedback via email at david.strom.com. At